Smart Alex. Of course, I'm your guest host, John, the smartest of all the Smart Alex. On our panel today, we have Al. We have Jace. We're going to discuss a topic that's very controversial, I'll say. It's that button that, you know, that always sizzles. <coughs> and you know what button that is. That's race. So, the rapper Logic, who is biracial, half black, half white, <laughs> or he may be something else. I don't know. I'm not very familiar with this young man's situation. But he was told that he was not allowed to say the word nigga. How do you guys feel about that? I don't think he was told that because he said the word nigga a few times already. Well, you know, it was controversial. Like, you know, somebody said So, so he said it on the, on, the, on the record or like in yeah. an interview or what? No, on the song. On the song. song. And I think he used it in a context, like, he wasn't saying it like, I think he used it in a context, like, yo, because I'm black and white, I'm not allowed to say the word nigga, from what I'm understanding in show prep. But I don't know. And I, I do you think it's a really big deal that he said nigga being biracial? Not, no, because a lot of biracial, everybody that's biracial uses it. I mean, that's, that was my point. Like, Cole is biracial. He says it. Drake is biracial. He says it. Kaepernick is biracial. I haven't heard him say it, but I know he says it. Or has said it in the past. Right. So, it, 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 so then you got logic. Why is it not cool for him to say it? Because he doesn't look like a black guy. He looks like he's white. And because of that, that puts you in a different category than uh, you know, when we're saying biracial, it's either, it's either one or the other. Like, you claim one or the other. Like, you either claim you're black or you claim you're white. A lot of times, most people, you know, you black or white, I'm black. Or most times, I don't hear people say I'm biracial. I hear people say I'm black or I'm white. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know logic, never met him in my life, but he just seems like the type of person that if you ask him, <laughs> what are you? He can say white. On his application, I'm quite sure he put Caucasian, he didn't put African American. That's just me and my opinion. That's, you know, so in my opinion, him using the word nigga, he can't use it because if I, if we were on, if we were in the streets and you walked up to me and was like, what's up, nigga? I would be like, I'd be, you know what I'm saying, it'd be a problem. You know what I'm saying? And then you wouldn't have time to say, oh, well, my mom was, my mom was white, my father's black, so. I'm biracial, so I can use the word. No, I don't know. I'm already smacking you. I'm already fucking you up because you didn't use the word nigga and you white. You know what I'm saying? So, but he's not. Once again, you, I, unless you're walking around with a biracial sign on you, nobody knows. So, so, shit. so, so, your argument is is pretty much he based looks on white. appearance. Yeah, he looks based white. He looks white. And in my and as well as by you looking white, in my opinion, just the just you being white is is a privilege. <laughs> It's called white privilege. It's a privilege. So, in my opinion, he may have had more opportunities to be where he's at right now than a logic that was black. Do you see what I'm saying? So, 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 he's biracial. Half his family is black, half his family is white. So when he's at the black side of the family's cookout and everybody's dropping the end bomb, and because, you know, that's what we do. It's, it's, it's a regular word to us. He's not allowed to say it around his people. Oh, around his family, I'm quite sure they let him say it. They allow him to say it. And I'm quite sure around his family's friends and shit, if they're together, they allow, you know, before somebody jumps off and kicks his ass, they're probably like, oh, wait a minute, this is my cousin. You know what I'm saying? He cool. You know what I mean? But I'm telling man, it, it's, it's, it's pretty cut and dry when it comes to it. Because if he looks white, you know what I'm saying? Because he looks white. Like, if you look at him, he looks like a white boy from the suburbs. He just looks like yes. a regular white boy. So, when you, like I say, when you look at his appearance, would I let him say nigga in the streets? No. So just because he's a rapper don't mean he can say, oh, because I got money now I can say nigga. Or because I have a, a black family and now that I'm rich, I can tell everybody I have a black family. So now I can be allowed to say nigga. I mean, like I say, in my opinion, I don't think you should say nigga. Period. You not. You didn't come from that struggle for real. Period. You were white. You're white. Is there any evidence to prove that he didn't? 
yeah, he's he's fucking rich and he's famous and shit like that. Nah, that's some evidence right there. Because like I said, it's probably a lot, probably tens of thousands of black logics out here that's probably harder than he is or harder than he is. And, no, when I say evidence to prove that he did that it didn't come up with the black side of his family, like how do we know that? How do we know what? That he that he didn't come up with the black side, like the black. It doesn't side. matter because once again, Jace, if he walked up to you, you didn't know who he was, and by his appearance, just by the way he walks and talks and the way he looks, he was like, "What's up, nigga? How would you react to that? Would you say, hey?" Before I smack the shit out of you, is your mother black and your father white? You know, how is your, is, do you, are you biracial? Or would you be like, bitch, who the fuck are you talking to? That's what it boils down to. It doesn't boil down to all this back shit that we know about him because he's rich and famous. That's the only reason we know he's even biracial. If we didn't, if he wasn't rich and famous, we wouldn't know he was biracial. He would just be a regular white boy rapping who couldn't say nigga. So now that you are famous, and we do got your backstory because you've done interviews and you've been, you know, oh, well, I'm, I've got black people on this side of my family, this, that, and this. Now everybody come and bring it into question. I don't think it should even be brought into question because, once again, if you weren't in the position that you were in, you wouldn't be saying nigga. And if you were saying nigga, you were only saying it around your family and the people who accepted you saying it. Somebody like me, I wouldn't accept you saying it. And then, once again, we could talk about your background and shit. Then maybe after we sit and talk about your family tree, <laughs> and maybe I'll accept you saying the word nigga, but until then, bro, like, no, nah, you can't say it. Because like I said, man, you don't, when people brought it up, I was like, yo, Roger said nigga, what you think about that? Hell no, nah, he can't say nigga. He a white boy. That's the first thing that came out of my mouth. Then everybody was like, well, he biracial. How you know? Oh, because he's rich and famous, motherfucker. Now I can get his M.O. and get all his background and he did the interviews and this, that, that. But like I say, it's tens of thousands of logics out there that's black that... <laughs> Probably wrong. So, 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 let's speak about another biracial guy. When Drake came out, he looks more black than black, so that's why I think it's was acceptable. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. As well as Cole, he looks more, he has more of a black flavor to himself. More of a black that's flavor? Why then it sounds like they come from more of a impoverished uh, environment, more of a struggling environment. I'm not going to say I know that, it just seems as though the way they portray themselves and the way they rap that they portray a struggle that black people can relate to. You know what I'm saying? Whereas Logic, he spit bars. He got bars. He's like, you know, Eminem. Eminem can't really, doesn't really rap about what black people can relate to and struggle to. He raps about, he tries to rap about what everybody can relate to. And most of everybody is his majority. You know what I'm saying? So regardless, he can spit. But once again, he's, he's not rapping about, you know, the streets of a black man. He's rapping about the streets of a white boy. And his, his, his streets and the way he came up in the streets are going to be totally different than the way these black men came up in the streets. That's why you can't say that. In my opinion. So, I mean, I'm quite sure people got other opinions, but... How do you feel about the uh, topic post? Huh? Oh, uh, well, you know. Um, I guess, you know, it doesn't bother me. He says, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's fucking logic. I don't know him. It's, it's, it doesn't, it's not going to stop me. If he says nigga right now, it has no effect on me whatsoever. So. Zero. It doesn't affect us, but I don't want to see a trend of white boys coming out saying the word nigga because they feel as though oh, I'm biracial. You know what I'm saying? I looked on. Then they're not I looked technically on, white boys. I looked on Ancestry.com. If you're raised as you're a white boy, then you're, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's kind of like that. That's how I kind of feel. Yeah, like and I get, it. I get if, it. As a white boy, you're not raised as a black boy. You're raised as a white boy. So when you get older, you white. You know what I'm saying? You can be like, oh, yeah, my, my father was black, but my mama raised me white in so many words. My father didn't raise me black because we knew that was going to be a harder road. So my mama raised me white so that I could have the privileges and the... And the, and the things that I have as a white fucking boy, dude, it's, it's, it's fucking common, it's science, it's common sense. If you got a, a, a biracial child and he looks white, man, he white. <laughs> when, you, when you fill out the application, put, put white, put, put Caucasian, because that's what, that's what you want. And then when you go in there, go get that job. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Um, Chase? No, I just, I, you know, I, it, it, can anybody.
Everybody's voice. So, in my opinion, if you give this, if you give him, if, let's just say, for instance, you say, all right, you know what it is cool for Logic to say? To say the N word. When, when other white rappers start coming out saying the N word, then what we gonna, we gonna just let it, we just gonna let it be cool, like, cause you know if we let one, to, because in my opinion, has Eminem ever said the N word? Yeah, he got some backlash. Yeah, he, he, he did it in a cool. song. In a song before he was, before the, he became Eminem. Okay. So, but since he's been signed and been Eminem, has he said the N word? Not the back of the club. I can't recall him saying it either. And you know what I'm saying? I feel like, but he all the way white. But he once again, oh, he all the way white. His mother and his father all the way white. Yeah. Okay. But he was raised around niggas and all that. Yeah, he was. Yeah. But he he doesn't have a drop of black blood in him. You know what I'm saying? Logic does, and that's that's what I'm saying. Like, if it's cool for Cole to say it, if it's cool for Drake to say it, if it's cool for all these niggas to say it, and they're the same half and half as Logic, why isn't it cool for Logic to say it? All oh, right, oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like I say, the difference is looks. Definitely looks, skin color, race. Skin Drake color. like skin, motherfucking Cole like skin. Niggas don't look white. Kaepernick like skin. They don't look white. None of them don't. No, they don't. They, they don't have black white. features. It's like. <laughs> the predominant chromosomes in those <laughs> niggas was black, you know what I'm saying? And where the predominant chromosomes in him was white, even though they say if you got one sixteenth, you know, black in you, you black still. You know what I mean? He he looks totally white. So that's all I'm saying is that if he had, if he if he looked like a coal, if he had some fucking melanin in his skin that I could see. In the in a video, which I never I've seen his videos and he looks totally white, looks like a little Zan or some shit like that. So I think he he I think he's a white boy, but he might be biracial. I don't know. But these white boys can't be going around saying nigga because they still consider I white do. boys in our community. You know what I'm saying? Like in in the black community, you're considered a white boy. So therefore you can't say nigga. Now you got away with saying nigga on your raps and your songs because you're rich and famous and all that shit, but you know. Real talk, if he was in the studio, in the hood, with some real niggas, and they was like, ooh, nigga, you ain't saying, no, what, huh, what did you just say? No, you ain't saying that shit around, mm -mm. nah, bro. So you gotta go get signed, because you ain't saying nigga in this studio. <laughs> well, we're gonna put a pin in that, and I guess we'll just leave it at, um, I guess he's um, an outside, he's not allowed to say nigga, and I guess um, you don't care at all. So, with that being said, um, this is the Smart Alex. I want you guys to always click the subscribe button down below and leave some comments. Let us know what we're doing good, what we're doing bad, and what you guys want to talk about. Once again, I'm John, Smart Soul, Smart Alex, the guest host. <coughs> this is Al. This is Jason. Thanks for tuning in to the Smart Alex. Peace. I heard one of, I think I heard a couple of his songs and they really they really didn't beer. They really didn't make they really didn't